What is up ladies? Today I'm gonna show you how you can find more time in your day so that you can give a little bit more time to yourself. And there's three tips that you can follow to help you do that. So tip number one is before your day starts or the night before, what I want you to do is write everything down in a journal or on a piece of paper that you have planned out doing. Write the time you're gonna do it, approximately how long it's gonna take you. And by having a list of, of your schedule the next day, it's gonna make that next day more efficient. There'll be less time in between all the things you need to do uh, to think about what do I need to do. So you're gonna go straight from A to B to C versus A to, all right, what do I do now? B, what do I do now? C. You're gonna have clarity and it's gonna make your day much more efficient. And for me, I personally got over an hour of time from just doing that one exercise. All right, number two is, if your goal is to be healthier, to do some good things for you, don't work out at a gym, work out from home. There's tons of things that you can do at home, even with minimal equipment. They're gonna get you the benefit that you want. And if your goal is, for say, losing weight, yes, exercise is extremely important, but nutrition is a bigger factor. So how can you get a home workout in? Um, because what this is gonna do is reduce travel time. Say it's 15 minutes there and back. That's 30 minutes in your day, okay? If it's an hour workout, that's an hour and a half a day. And who said you need to work out for an hour, right? And look, this is somebody, this is coming from me and I own a gym. So, um, but that's how I feel about it. If you are short on time, sometimes the gym may not be the best option. And then finally, tip number three is to meal prep. So if your goal is to lose weight and you wanna make more time, Making one-off meals throughout the week of the day, it takes up a lot of extra time, why? Because you've got to uh, basically turn on the oven and wait for it to, to preheat more times, right? You need to clean the dishes a little bit more. All these little things will add up when you do an individual bounce versus if you try and hit it in one to two big meal prep sessions throughout the week. Although it may take a bigger block to cook, not really, you know, maybe an hour or two, it will save you so much time throughout the week. That one right there can get you a couple hours back. So those are your three tips to make more time so that you can take care of yourself. Hopefully this was helpful. Like if it was, we do a lot of things over here at Hybrid Fitness. One being we do one-on-one -on -one coaching uh, remotely. So a lot of people don't know that even though we own the gym, we do one-on-one -on -one coaching remotely where we would have a one-on-one -on -one call. We get you an individualized workout plan that you could do from home or at a gym and we'd hook you up with an individualized nutrition program. If that is something that would be interested to you, simply just shoot me over a message or a comment below. I'd be happy to uh, reach out and see if it'd be a good fit. But hopefully those three tips help you and I hope you have a great rest of your day.